Pluto, our solar system's erstwhile ninth planet, has long piqued the interest of scientists. Even after being designated as a dwarf planet in 2006, it continued to pique the interest of space astronomers. After nine years in space, NASA's New Horizons mission, launched in 2006, arrived at Pluto. The photographs returned by the spacecraft lead to some fascinating new findings and queries. One of the most notable discoveries is the discovery of probable cryovolcanism on Pluto's surface, which suggests the presence of an ocean and maybe even life on the distant world. Pluto is an icy planet with a frozen core of nitrogen and carbon monoxide ice. The images from New Horizons have shown something absolutely unexpected and never seen before on any other planet in the solar system. Images of Pluto's surface reveal several rough volcanoes risen to various heights. Surprisingly, there were no impact craters from asteroids or meteors nearby, unlike the rest of the planet. Furthermore, there was no indication of plate tectonic activity, which is critical in mountain creation on Earth. All of these features suggested that this surface was produced as a result of a recent geologic disturbance, likely a volcanic explosion, that occurred within the last two billion years. When it comes to Pluto's volcanic characteristics, two peaks that rise over the dwarf planet's surface have confounded planetary scientists for years. The first is a mountain range known as Wright Mons. This surface entity is approximately 150 kilometers broad, extends up to over five kilometers above the surface, and has a center depression nearly 50 kilometers across. The second feature, Picard Mons, rises to about seven kilometers in height and has a breadth of approximately 225 kilometers. Even though Pluto's diameter is just one-sixth that of Earth, the total volume of this volcano is comparable to that of Hawaii's Mauna Loa, one of our planet's largest volcanoes. These massive surface structures are located near the southwest border of the Sputnik Planitia ice sheet, which is the lighter region to the left of Pluto's renowned heart-shaped feature, and were discovered in July 2015 as the New Horizons probe sailed by the planet. This sheet is distinguished by an ancient impact basin approximately 1,000 kilometers wide, as well as folds and rises that seem as wrinkles on a smooth coating of ice. There are also other volcanic domes in this area, with the majority of them merging into a larger dome. Researchers assume that the construction of such a landscape may have been powered by many eruption sites positioned close each other after carefully scrutinizing the photographs acquired by the New Horizons spacecraft. And it's possible that the ice blasted during the subsequent cryovolcanic eruptions blanketed the whole region. A comprehensive examination also indicates that the surface material in this region is largely water ice, rather than nitrogen or methane ice as is common in younger portions of the planet's surface. This lends credence to the likelihood of cryovolcanic action. Volcanoes must have a continual heat source to generate eruptions in order to be active. However, Pluto's neighbors are not powerful enough to create sufficient tidal and gravitational forces to warm its interior, nor is the quantity of rocky material contained inside Pluto's core adequate to generate heat from radioactivity. Given all of the evidence, the only probable explanation is that the dwarf planet still has residual heat from its creation trapped within it, most likely under its frozen surface in a deep water ocean. Such seas are known to exist on other frozen worlds in the solar system, including Saturn's moon Enceladus and Jupiter's moon Europa. Furthermore, Enceladus has demonstrated frequent cryovolcanism by shooting frozen material into space and refilling one of Saturn's rings. As a result, it is extremely likely that Pluto contains a buried ocean that is contributing to the planet's cryovolcanism. Pluto's discovery of cryovolcanism and a putative subsurface ocean has raised the possibility of life on the dwarf planet. While Pluto's surface temperature is about 240 degrees C on average, which is too cold to support life as we know it, the possibility of a secret ocean beneath the icy crust might provide a warm and stable environment that could support life. Furthermore, the water in the buried ocean might include organic compounds, which are the building blocks of life, and could have been carried to Pluto by comets or asteroids. Furthermore, volcanic activity may give the energy and nutrients required for life to survive. However, the presence of a secret ocean on Pluto has yet to be proven, and even if it does exist, the odds of discovering life on the dwarf planet remain remote. 
Nonetheless, the finding of cryovolcanism and a potentially buried ocean on Pluto has opened up new areas for inquiry and exploration, and it will be intriguing to watch what future trips to the dwarf planet disclose.